Yo, what is happening? We're back after what was a bit of an emotional episode last one. It was not a happy day, but I stuck to my decision. I stuck to my decision. We are now no longer the St. Albans manager. We've moved on. As we said, we get a message from the board. We've come to terms with your departure. Although we want you to stay, we respect your decision to leave and wish you the best of luck. We'd like to acknowledge, acknowledge your high quality performance level while managing here. The board would like to thank you for your service and wish you the best of luck in the future and your future endeavours. Um, St Albans, the fans were heartbroken as well. The hunt for a new St Albans manager begins then. Who do you lot want to see us get in? Thought Gaming was doing a decent job, but we shouldn't be settling for just decent. You cheeky bastard, Diana. Didn't see that coming. Disappointed. Gaming has decided not to continue at St Albans. Well, it had to happen. Um, here's the new favourites for the St Albans manager. We've got Lee Gro Gregory, Ian Culverhouse and Roger Johnston. Um, and for us, a little bit of good news. Where am I? Here we go. We did go up um, reputation to one star. You're now a one-star manager, which does open up our options a little bit more because basically what it was looking like was we were going to be going sideways. There is a few jobs on the market which I'm going to continue applying for here. And I will come back to you when we have an interview. All right, let's do it. The job offers have been absolutely flat. It's, it's almost... Too many job offers, um, some would say. Um, we have been offered a job. We are going to take it. Um, there, there, there are a couple of positions of the worst team in Portugal. Um, we, <laughs> Lanik, Lank, FC, Vila Verdense. We'll just call them the lanky, lank. Um, some good players in there. Um, you might recognise this one, Ansu Fati. Not the real Ansu Fati. Um, the one from Biasu, Guinea. Um, yeah, we're going to take it. Uh, I think it's a pretty good job. They want us to avoid finishing bottom of League 3. Which is a pretty easy objective. We can do that. Um, they have some players, a little bit of money. I feel like we could maybe do something with this team. Um, and it gets us into Portugal. And the only way is up, really, when you get in there. Um, they're offered me £700 a week on a two-year deal. With a 15% promotion wage rise and a 35% relegation wage drop so we have accepted that we are now the new manager of Lank FC Vila Verdens who needs Albans a little nice healthy wage though Get a, a nice healthy little wage and uh, we'll have a bit of a look at the team now that we're here um, we'll obviously we'll be doing the first game on tomorrow's video um, let me just see what we're talking, what we're cooking with. So we would probably, right, let me just see what I want to play. So what I would like to play is a gag and press. That is normally my tactic that I do use. Um, we would be doing a 4 2 3 one. It's the one, that, again, that I also like to use. And let's just see what we would play team-wise. So goalkeeper, we have one goalkeeper. Um, Rogero. Santos looks like a really strong keeper. Right back, we have one right back. He's pretty good. Rafael Vigas, he would go in at right back. Um, left back, we've got Armando Lopez, who's out for injury. He looks pretty good. How long is he out for? Seven days, so he'll be back. So it would be him. 
other than that, it's going to be Kaji. That is his name, Kaji. Hmm. Right, centre backs, not so easy to pick. Oh, okay, there's a pretty easy one to get into the squad. Jao Bat Batista. He would go in at centre back with Georgi Silva. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So it would be these two guys. <laughs> oh dear. We, we don't look too bad. I must say, like they look like they can actually play a little bit of football. Um, ball winning midfielder would probably... Is that the best we have? No, it would be Malam Kamara going in there. Sacco would be a deep line playmaker at the moment. Oh, look at him though. Maybe Leona Neves. He looks a pretty good little player. Let's just try that at the moment. And would Sacco then just go in as the central midfielder over Kamara? More than likely. Um, options. This is nice to see. A little bit of options. On the right, we would have... Oh dear. We're seeing the first position. Okay, we would be playing with... Sapara on the left as the winger. Um, and Goncalo Texiera on the right. And at the moment, probably Serginho in that attacking midfield position. We have one option of striker, and he's terrible. Um, another problem there. Fatty can play there. I actually think it would be Fatty at the moment. Uh, do we have much going on in the under-19s is a question. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Terrible. Okay. Yep. Um. Oh my dear. Okay. 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 And um, what are we looking at transfer market wise? Okay, we've got a little bit of money. A little bit of money. Wages wise, where that will maybe get us a couple of players. Going in, we'll let the scouts do their work, see if they can find us some players. I mean, there's a couple of players there rated at some big money. Okay, not really. Um, any freebies that would take our fancy? Uh, we won't have a look at that now. So, our first game is in a day's time against Anadia. Anadia. And they are top of the league, so we will play that game. And um, we'll actually probably play the next two games, which will be a Nadia, Braga B team, and A D San Joannese. Jo and Um it's good to be looking at these teams, getting to see the other leagues. We'll have a bit more in-depth look at a bit of the history of the club, where we're going to be living, our new accommodations. As I said, £700 a week is going to get us a pretty nice property in Portugal, I would assume. Um, so I'll see you on the next one, guys. We finally got a job. Let's go. Peace.